Hey, in this video, I will tell you about Retouch For Me Portrait Volumes. This is another retouching app from Retouch For Me series. It uses neural networks and enhances a visual dimension in portraits. Retouch For Me Portrait Volumes can work both as a standalone application and as a plugin for Photoshop. I have some portrait photos loaded into Photoshop. The skin of the models looks already perfect because I processed photos with Retouch For Me Heal and Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn plugins. I also used Eye Vessel plugin in this photo to remove blood vessels and redness of the whites of the eyes. Well, let's see how Portrait Volumes handles these photos. I'm going to open Filters menu and run the plugin. This plugin works pretty quickly and efficiently. This is what the original looks like, and here is the photo after. The effect can be increased. Here is the original, and this is the processed version. Lips, cheekbones, and nose here are emphasized. Eyes are brightened, and voila! Here is the portrait. Here the girl is shot in profile, however the work of the plug-in is noticeable. You can see now how the eyes and cheekbones stand out. I'm going to increase the effect a little more. Here is before, and here is after. The face now looks more voluminous. In the next photo, I have a full-length portrait. I will make a copy of the layer to show before and after images in Photoshop. You need to check High Resolution checkbox on full-length portraits. Because, in this case, the model's face occupies a small part of the photo. Here is the original. And here is after image. I'll check Soft Light checkbox to get the plugin to work on a neutral gray layer. To do this, you must run the plugin on the copy of the layer you are retouching. Imagine how much time you will spend painting such a drawing on a neutral gray layer. I'm changing the layer's blending mode to Soft Lights, and here's the result. Let's see the original resolution. This is how Retouch For Me Portrait Volumes works. In the next photo, I have a close-up portrait, so I tick off High Resolution checkbox. The plugin can also be used for batch processing. I have already shown how to do this with other Retouch For Me plugins. Here's the original, and here is the processed photo. I will reduce the effect here. Let's see the result in Photoshop. Of course, if you are an experienced retoucher, you can easily draw this manually. The only question is, how much of your life do you want to spend on it? If you are not very familiar with retouching, you will hardly be able to do this at all. This is how the final result looks. Let's now see how the plugin handles multiple models in the photo. Thanks to Mikhail Shalaev for the photo. The photo shows a full-length portrait, so I need to check high resolution. Done. I will increase the effect. Here is the original, and here is the photo after. You can see that both faces have been processed. You can even increase the effect here. Let's see the resulting layer in Photoshop. Please note that not only the face is retouched, but also the open areas of the body. In this case, the girl's leg and hand. This photo looks much better now. Here's the original, and here is the result of Retouch For Me Portrait Volumes plugin. You can always adjust the effect by adjusting the layer's opacity to your taste. The plugin works better with female portraits. On male portraits, such processing will look a bit feminine, but no one forbids you to try it. You can download the demo and buy Retouch For Me Portrait Volumes plugin at retouch4.me. I will leave the link in the video description. That's all. Bye, everyone.